like to introduce you to four overview worksheets that are in CFAM. We also sometimes call these worksheets dashboards because they give you a lot of information about your district or your charter school from a very, very high level. They, the four sheets are 011, Expenditure Overview, 012, Revenue Overview, 013 is a statewide funding expenditure detail for all, school, all schools, and then finally 014 is your foundation funding plus salary funding versus your expenditures in 1,000, 2,000. We'll explain it more in detail. So let's start off with 011 Expenditure Overview. When you click on that worksheet, you're going to get an expenditure overview for the district. The district currently selected in this example is Alma. You can notice if you'll click on the down arrow, you can choose your district or any district in the state of Arkansas. Let's start on the left hand side. Kind of the overview for the district starts with what do we have as far as student population is concerned. So we have a third, three quarter ADM for school years 20 through 23 on the screen. Uh, so we're in school year 24, so obviously we will not have a three-quarter ADM until the third quarter is completed this year. So we'll get a line graph showing the number of students in our district. It's always important that we know the number of students in our district because that's our basic uh, funding model is our foundation funding for each student. Second two items for overview that I think are very important are how many licensed staff members do we have and how many classified staff members do we have. So a lot of times we want to see these lines kind of in, in parallel and you can see that this district has done a, a good job of as they have lost students over the last couple of years, they've also decreased their licensed staff. We do not see the same thing for classified staff, but that didn't really tell us the whole story. So we can't make an assumption that they've you know, done anything you know, that we wouldn't normally want to do in this situation. We could have changed from, um, we could have been outsourcing food service in the past. We brought that back into the district and that added staff. So you can't make an assumption just based upon what you see here, but it does give you a good overview, a place to start. We also added two other things at the bottom on the left hand side that I think are important for school districts to know, and that is what, are, what is our debt payment? So what does our debt payment look like? What percentage of the, that is of our um, revenue? So it kind of gives you an idea of how much money is going to debt. And then what is our unrestricted legal balance doing so we kind of take a look at that over time to see how our legal balance um, you know trend is and remember unrestricted legal balance is funds one two and four now notice you do not want to take a look at year 24 because year 24 here is a current year situation we may be caught in the middle of a month that type of thing so we'll only want to look at years 20 through 23 we'll look at our previous year and go backwards on the right hand side of the screen, we have all, all the information for expenditures for, for the school district and we break it down into the broad object groups. So those are salary and benefits, professional technical services, etc. You can see down the left hand side. So those are what we call our broad object groups. This is how we spend our money in large chunks. The majority of the money is going to be spent for salary and benefits and we have a line graph for each of those. So notice for um, salary for this district over the last several years. The line is, is, is very even. We've not gone up or down a lot. And you notice the big drop in 24, and, and don't get excited about that one because obviously that's a partial year. So we've only had a partial year for 24, so we kind of disregard that. Matter of fact, when I'm snipping this a lot of times for worksheets uh, or presentations, I'll, I'll just disregard 24 and just take um, 20 through 23. Uh, all the same information that's in the line graph is presented to you in numbers at the bottom of the chart. So once again, the right hand side of the sheet, basically broad object groups, how do we spend our money, uh, an overview, really meant to be a high level overview for the school district. So that's the expenditure section. Let's move on to revenue, it's going to be very similar. For revenue, there's not as many categories for revenue. So you'll notice on the left hand side of this screen, we have your revenue, it's broken into four sections, local, state, federal, and then other. And so that other for different schools can be different things. It could be a bond issue that you pass, it could be donations, it could be a lot of different things. And then a total revenue at the bottom, we add up uh, the previous four uh, from above. So it's a very simple overview. Where does the money come from? How much do we get? Once again, for, for FY24, partial year. 
So you're not going to see it up to the level of the previous four years. Uh, on the right hand side of the screen, you have the ability to select a fiscal year and have a pie chart for that year. So in this situation, we're on 23. If we want to go back to 22, let's go ahead and click on 22 here. And you'll notice the pie chart changed somewhat. But once again, it's the same information that's on the left hand side of the screen, just putting it in pie graph uh, for you. Moving on to 013 statewide funding and expenditure overview. This is a very busy screen with a lot of numbers on it. And notice we're looking at the selected year of FY22. We're going to go ahead and switch to 23, our previous year. And it's going to give us the information for all districts and charters in the state with regards to what our revenue was. You know, uh, in the column there, it says total revenue. And then everything else on the screen is expenditures to the right of there. So those broad object groups that we looked at a minute ago, now we've broken that down into a number format. And the good thing about this worksheet is you see the information not only for one district, but for all, and you can also sort that information. So if I want to sort that information by ADM, notice I'll click on the little uh, down arrow sort button here next to three quarter ADM. I click on it once and it sorts it from largest to smallest. I click on that sort button again, sorts it from smallest to largest, and then click on it a third time, it's back, back to alphabetical order. So I can, I can sort this by any of the columns. So if I wanted to look at total revenue for the entire state, click on that, I can see the largest revenue, of course, with the Little Rock district there. Smallest, click on that, it's with the Guy Perkins uh, School District. So just a way for you to look at this statewide, compare your districts maybe to districts your size, you might want to sort it by three-quarter ADM. And um, let's go ahead and sort it by three-quarter ADM. And then let's scroll down to say we were a school of 3,000 students. It's just not too far down the screen here. So we wanted to look at schools our size. We could compare ourselves to the schools that were districts, what, say, be five larger than us and five smaller ones, or 10 larger, 10 smaller. It kind of gives you an idea of how you compare with regards to expenditures for schools your size on those broad edge object categories. Then finally, our last overview or dashboard worksheet 014. This one's a pretty busy worksheet. I want to first of all put uh, send your attention to the acronyms at the top of the page. We have several acronyms. For example, TSEF is Teacher Salary Equalization Fund. So you can see the different ones. We want to explain those to you so that you know uh, as you look at our chart what those acronyms stand for. But the way this worksheet works is, is pretty simple if we work our way from left to right. Notice once again we can choose our district up there in the drop down arrow right there. And we're looking at the Alma School District once again. Let's start with FY23. We'll start from left to right. We, we see the amount of money we received in foundation funding. We add teacher salary equalization funds. So there's, those are special dollars that come from the legislature and they are um, given to the school districts to use for teacher salaries. This year, we didn't have it in 23, and this year, if you'll notice in one line below, we also have what sometimes people call the LEARNS Act raise. So we add the foundation funding plus the teacher salary equalization funding plus the LEARNS raise money, and we give you a total. This total is the amount of money you received from the legislature in base funding plus salary funding. Then we compare that to your expenditures in funds 1,000 and 2,000. Remember 1,000 is teacher salaries and 2,000 is all of your other operating expenses. So we do a comparison there in the next line. Were we uh, in the red? Did we spend more for 1,000, 2,000 expenditures than we received for foundation funding plus our salaries or were, were we in the black? And don't be alarmed when you see a negative number here because many of our districts in the state do have a negative number here. Some don't. Some districts can operate with a positive balance here, but we'll explain that more in just a minute. The next line is your percentage change. Um, so it was a 1.53% change from the previous year, negative. We then go into your tax revenue. So if you have any money that's above the URT and m &O, so remember everybody has 25 mils universal rate of tax. If your district has passed anything specific above that, and that would be in this line. If you have any dedicated meals, 
and that would be in this line. And a lot of school districts don't have anything. You notice this district is a zero. But then the next column is excess debt service used for maintenance and operation. Schools that have passed a bond issue have, say, say five mills to pay for their debt on their buildings. What happens is over time, that debt payment stays the same. However, the revenue that's brought in for those five mills continues to increase as more property comes into the district or you have more businesses, more houses. We create there what's called excess debt service money. And that's revenue that's in excess of your debt payment. So this district has a significant amount of excess debt service they can use for operating their schools. That's the reason that negative number was not such a surprise over there because this district knows that they have a net funding of actually a little over $1 million for 23. We also throw in your licensed staff and your classified staff from previous years, just so you know that trend once again on this worksheet. Notice that we do not have that information for 23 because the ASR uh, annual statistical report is usually not published until about January or February of this year. So once that comes out in a year, then we'll, we'll make that addition uh, to this worksheet. All that information that's at the top of this worksheet, then we kind of just put in line graph form for you in the bottom. There's four quadrants. The upper uh, right uh, left-hand quadrant is foundation funding plus your salary funds. How much money did we receive? As you drop down to the bottom uh, left-hand quadrant, you'll see your expenditures for teacher salary, $1,000, and operating expense, $2,000. And then uh, to the right-hand side of the page, we get all of our excess revenue that comes in, uh, debt service money that comes in above the 25 mil URT. And then finally at the bottom of the screen, then what is our net funding for the year? Once again, you'll want to disregard uh, FY24 for, for most of these worksheets uh, because that will not be a true indication of where we are at the completion of the year. These worksheets are really designed to be looked at on a whole year basis. So many times you'll look at the previous year FY23. So we hope that you enjoy uh, 011 through 014, basic overview, uh, quick, uh, you know, 30,000 foot level of what the school district looks like from the, from the standpoint of revenues, expenditures, and staffing.